What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. So we've got another D'Andor commentary. Ojama King. Uh, if he's not the top player, still currently with this 800 rating, he's damn sure one of the top players. You see that he's, um, I guess he's not rocking the Ojamas no more. This apparently looks like a light sworn zombie build. I mean, kind of makes sense because when you mill, uh, you can dump Mizuki. And, uh, it looks like this is the first turn, in fact, because you see that um, Scrub Slayer doesn't have... Oh, by the way, Scrub Slayer, 160. Uh, he doesn't have a graveyard. So I would assume he attempted to... Well, what he probably did was summon that Manju, and uh Mistake was flipped over on him, and then he probably didn't have any more plays after that. So Mistake in the main deck is still getting the job done. We learned that from Burning Abyss last format, so uh, definitely at YCS Prague. You just flipped over Mistake, and you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, so let's see what um, Scrub Slayer is going to have. He does have to mill two, in fact, because of Raiden. Oh, wow. <laughs> that mill two actually helped because um, while he does lose out on Mistake, he gets another Mizuki. So that's really, really good. Really, really, really good. So we'll see. Um, hopefully he doesn't lose his fill to an Exiton or something like that. <clears throat> Although... If he did make exit time, he has six cards in hand, so he would, I guess with the spells, he would be at like four cards. All right. And, um, Scrub Slayer's just, he scoop phases, uh, the power of mistake, right? And it looks like Ojama King says, noob, I don't need to, I don't need to side deck, side deck in this for scrubs. So he just says, I'm just, I'm going in, man. I'm going in. All right. So it looks like, uh, I mean, if I'm Scrub Slayer, I'm trying to bring in some twisters or something, man. I, I'm not trying to lose the <laughs> mistake anymore. I know that you have Mystical Space Typhoon in the main deck, but maybe that's not enough. Maybe you want to bring in Royal Decree. All right, so Script Sayer says, I'm going to go second. Keep in mind the last time that that happened, apparently it didn't work out so well for him, but he must feel like that was more of a blip then a trend that it was a fluke and sometimes when i get i get wrecked by one card i tend to think that i'm like all right that's, that's just a fluke it's not gonna happen again all right so okay ojama king has the back row locked and loaded there's also danko like never forget that danko is a card whoa is that gishki chain and it is Gisky Chain. And um looks like Mistake is going to be chain to chain. So I guess technically we have two chains. I know that was a bad joke, but I mean, come on. Can you blame me? Alright, so if you're gonna open Mistake every single time against Necros, like you're gonna be damn like you're gonna beat more Necros than you're gonna lose to. That's just a fact. Looks like he's gonna attack. Compulse is played. Man, whatever that monster is, he really, really doesn't want it to die. Um, if I had Dark Hole Regeki, I'd just go ahead and burn it. Just because, uh, you already kind of went neg with the Compulse and, uh, your monster probably is important to you, so I, I think I would burn it. That's just me. Cause, like, what monster is that important? So you see Scrub Slayer just pass, Zombie Master's flipped, and Gob, what? Why didn't he just let Goblin Zombie die? <laughs> I don't understand that. Alright, well, he knows more than I do. Looks like he's going to at C now. Or oh, excuse me, he's going to go into battle phase. He has to mill one card. Oh, Mystical Space Typhoon. <laughs> that was so random and savage in the same sense. <laughs> that MST off the top of his deck would have done so much for him. Clearly it would have gotten rid of Mistake and he would have been able to actually play Yu-Gi-Oh. And now he's staring down. Oh my goodness. Now he makes Master Key Beetle. So it is going to be damn hard to get rid of that mistake now. Now MST won't even out it. This is really, really bad. Scrub Slayer is going to have to now resort to, uh, resort to things like, uh, well, he can still obviously Castell. Castell would be a big play here. Um, he could also, uh, I'm, 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 I'm at a loss actually. I think Castell would be probably the best, the best play here. Uh, he could 101 the um the beetle, but that wouldn't solve the problem of the mistake actually. And he has way too many cards to exit on night, so that's like not gonna be an option. Now the only thing I'm think I still don't understand why he didn't let the goblin zombie Oh, he let he didn't let the goblin zombie get attacked because he was under mistake. Okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Excuse me guys, I was being dumb. 
Oh man, and Vanity's Emptiness. This is just too real. I don't even think this is a real game. <laughs> Vanity's Emptiness and Mistake, and, and keep this in mind, if he does not kill that Key Beetle, he is totally, he's totally gonna lock him down to like double lockdown. I was thinking, I was thinking, why did he want the Goblin Zombie not to die? But, it, cause he has Mistake, he wouldn't have searched. I'm, I'm retarded. I'm just being dumb. Alright, so anyways, Vanity's Emptiness. Plus mistake, plus key beetle. I just gotta see what the chat is saying. Oh, the humanity! I know, right? <laughs> Holy shit! Just scoop. <laughs> so clearly, clearly zombies are like the meta now. He says he hates necros. I, I mean, he's been losing the necros a lot. So you know, obviously the floodgates gotta come in. I think you just have to set Gishki chain at this point. I mean. You can summon it, but then you'll just take battle damage. So I was like, what would be the point of that? He's going to activate Unicorn to get his spell back. I guess he's doing that. I didn't even know Unicorn could do that. For some reason, I always thought Unicorn was just monsters. Target one Necro's card. No, there it is, black and white. I, I guess he did that just so that he could use Valkyrus, possibly. I mean, that, that seems like a legitimate option. Because it's not like... It's not like the um the what's it called is gonna do anything for him right now. I mean the Necro's mirror isn't doing much right now because he's under Vanity's emptiness, so it's just not gonna be able to really help him. Now once that Key Beetle is able to activate its effect again, it's just gonna get even worse because now he just now even even if his cards go to the graveyard, the Vanities will not die. So this is beca this becomes very bad. He attacks over an effect Veiler. Which technically couldn't he, he maybe should have kept that in his hand because then he would have been able to affect Valor the Vanities. Or excuse me, affect Valor the Key Beetle. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I wonder if anybody else is going to say anything about that. I guess not. Somebody said Book of Moon, good game. Hey man, Book of Moon is, is a, a staple for this reason, man. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's Book of Moon, good game, but um, Book of Moon would help here. It, it definitely would help. So, Ajama King's going to draw another card. Doesn't look like he's going to commit any more monsters to the board. Uh, looks like he is going to commit more back row, though. He's not really playing much cards, but uh, I, I guess he doesn't really need to at this point. I mean, he has pretty much the greatest lock that you could possibly have against Necros. I mean, the only way that it would get better is if you had, like, I, I don't know, like, Barkeon or something. Not Barkeon, but um, Naturia Beast or something like that. Like... And it doesn't really get much better than this. So he summons his uh, Goblin Zombie. He's going to attack face downs. Another effect Veiler. He must have really feared Zombie Master to uh, to basically side in all those effect Veilers. Because that's pretty much the, the main card you'd want to use it against. Um, I mean, I, I don't think he could have saw the whole Master Key Beetle thing, uh, thing coming. Because I sure didn't. like. It wasn't the first thing I thought of when I thought Zombies... But, um, I mean, it's a legitimate play. The, almost the entire deck, except the Light Sworn stuff, is level 4. He summons into a Bottomless, and looks like that's going to be it. Keep in mind, even if he didn't Bottomless it, uh, that Gishki Chain being on board, it could have just attacked, or it could have gotten attacked by Key Beetle, and he would have lost. So, I mean, maybe he has Valk. That would be an option, but I guess he doesn't. So, it was pretty much a no-win situation. And it looks like Ojama King finds redemption. He gets um almost 30 points, but he was getting smashed by Necros, and looks like he's found a way to beat him. Thank you guys for watching, as always.